Hi there. If you're interested in engineering science or technology studies at Quinnebog Valley Community College, you're in the right spot. My name is Jacob Spute, and I'm a professor of engineering science and technology studies, as well as the program coordinator here at QVCC. That means I'm the best person to ask if you have questions about what we do, and I'm gonna spend some time now talking about some of what we do and the great programs we have here at QVCC. But first, let's go ahead and move my name over here in case you forget it and inform you that we have in-person and remote sessions at our main campus in Danielson, Connecticut, as well as at a satellite location in Willimantic. So the College of Technology at QVCC. A lot of people don't know, but in Connecticut, we have a statewide College of Technology that exists to facilitate transfer between public and private two-year and four-year institutions. What that means is that you can start at a two-year community college like QVCC, complete a course of study, and then transfer on to a four-year college or university. Some of those are public, some of those are private, and complete a four-year degree knowing that we've already arranged to make sure that that transfer will work out well. The way we do that is we have engineering science, which is best if you're trying to be an engineer, and we have technology studies, which is a little bit more flexible encompasses a lot of different stuff that can fit within that technology studies umbrella. We also have certificate programs that are a little bit more limited in scope than a two-year degree, but can get you some nice technical skills in a shorter amount of time. So for example, we have computer-aided design, we have advanced manufacturing machine technology, we have a mechatronics automation technician certificate. All of those are roughly one-year certificates, about 30 credits, that's 10 classes. And you can take courses that are just technical courses focused on what you want. And that's great for a lot of students who are thinking, I'm not really sure about this college stuff, but I do want to get some skills and get a good job. We have great technical options there for you. But if you do those, we also have a way to segue that into a two-year degree if you want to continue on with your studies, and that's technology studies. So technology studies have, has a lot of flexibility in the technical electives that you take during it. So whether you've done a CAD certificate or an advanced machine technology certificate, you can segue any of that stuff into tech studies. And if you have a little bit more specific interests, there's other things that can fit in there as well. Now, technology studies primarily transfers in the general technology studies degree to Central Connecticut State University. And they can be kind of flexible about what they accept in some of their courses of study over there. So People who complete that and want to complete a four-year degree generally go to CCSU. We also have some other options that are a little bit more specific that can go other places like environmental science and biomolecular science. But those, it's less flexible as the electives. You need to take specific electives to complete those because understandably, you need some environmental science if you're going to continue on at a four-year environmental science program. And then back to engineering science. Well, if you want to be an engineer, a lot of that stuff is pretty standard across a lot of different engineering disciplines. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. But first let's talk about our transfer partners. So in the College of Technology, we have a lot of transfer partners that people can transfer over to in various different transfer degrees, depending on where you're going. So for example, Southern doesn't really do engineering, but they do have physics with an engineering concentration. So our engineering science two-year degree transfers down to Southern in their physics with an engineering concentration. A lot of these places do do engineering and depending on what engineering they do, you can transfer into those various uh, transfer degrees. I should say before we go on, uh, a lot of students from QVCC choose to go to UConn due to their living situation. They tend to live closer to here than other places, but we've had people go to a wide variety of uh, our established transfer partners. So let's go over to here and maybe move myself over this way so that I'm out of the way and talk about some student outcomes at QVCC. In our 10-year program review using actual student data, we got a pretty good response rate and saw that our graduation rate was a lot higher than various other places. And most people transferred to four-year universities completing degrees at QVCC. Some gain employment in industry. We had a 97% of our transfer students majored in STEM, so that's science, technology, engineering, math. So even if they're not continuing on in engineering, 
where they're well prepared enough to continue on in whatever field they're interested in. So I've had students who have gone on to do a mathematics degree, starting with an engineering degree, but then deciding they actually preferred the math stuff rather than the applications of that math. Most of our transfer students have graduated or are still active, and we've had a number of students go on to advanced degrees as well. As far as pay, a lot of people care about pay. So if you're doing this because you think it'll pay well, it pays pretty well. Now this is actual QVCC student data. So if you're willing to move to other places, you can sometimes get more money or less money, just depending on cost of living and demand stuff. But our base salary for two-year degree students was 42,300. And our base salary for four-year degree students, so students who start, complete their two-year degree, go on to a four-year degree, complete that four-year degree, was 64,300. Again, that's four QVCC students. And a lot of our students completed paid summer internships while they were QVCC students. So if you're interested in that, there are lots of local places that people are looking to hire engineers or various technically adept people. And so getting your foot in the door early is good for you. And it's good for them because then they can try and convince you to stick around after you complete your degree. Now our students can go, as we mentioned, to places within Connecticut, but they can also go because we have those places within Connecticut and that statewide college for technology transfer program, they can go to places outside of Connecticut as well. And it's generally not an issue to get things to transfer over. So if we have a student starting here and they want to go to some place that we don't have a transfer articulation with, generally by informing them of our college technology program and sending over information on their courses, We've had students successfully transfer to all of these places, including various Ivy Leagues and places far afield down in Florida, UT Austin, etc. And all of our technical courses, our engineering and our science and our math goes over no problem to those places. And then students, once they complete their schooling or sometimes while they're doing their schooling, just as time allows or over the summer, will uh, get employed at various local places as well. So. You might notice a number of names on that list. Uh, if you're interested in working at one of those places, a lot of those places are happy to hire QVCC uh, graduates. So there are jobs that I was talking about specifically to QVCC. This is more generally in engineering. The highest starting salaries tend to be in engineering and technology, including you know programming that kind of falls into this uh, category. And it's in demand, it's a projected area for growth. There's a lot of people who are retiring and needing people to replace them in various different fields. And speaking of jobs, just one thing that I, I like to mention, because as people are considering colleges, they a lot of times are thinking about, okay, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna get a good high paying job and I'm gonna be happy, right? And that can be the case, right? And I'm not saying pay is the only thing that makes your decision, right? If you want to be in whatever field you wanna be in, a lot of times you take whatever pay goes with that field because you want to do the field. But I do think it's worth mentioning that depending on what you go into, this is national data here, sometimes just getting an associate's degree in a STEM field or in health can actually pay better than various different bachelor's degrees in lower paying fields. So don't just think, oh, it's a degree, so then I'll, I'll have skills and I'll get hired. You want to think about what you're actually going to be doing and whether that's going to pay what you're expecting, whether it's going that pay is going to be worth what you're hoping it's going to be worth. So as somebody does STEM stuff, right, like I'm happy that I can point to this and say, hey, it's possible you can get a good paying job just with an associate's degree. But again, this is national figures, not specifically QVCC. So what about specifically QVCC? What do you do in courses here? Well, if you're doing engineering science, if you're trying to be an engineer, then what you're going to do is you're going to take a lot of math. All engineers end up doing a lot of math. You're also going to do a lot of science. So calc-based physics, chemistry, thermodynamics, that sort of thing. What that means is that if you're planning to come here, I highly recommend that you uh, take as much math as you can whenever you can, including uh, upon first starting here. So that tends to be the in chemical engineering, we call it the rate limiting step. It's the thing that if people uh, end up spending longer, it's because they're either falling behind on their math or not quite there. So we can help you. We have lots of great 
courses that lead into the calculus sequence if you come in not ready to take calculus your first semester. But I just want to make you aware of that. That's, that's a big deal. You're going to have to do math. So I'm not trying to scare anybody, but you will have to do calculus. Now, if you're not up for calculus, we do have technology studies. Technology studies do not require you to do calculus. But if you're going to try and transfer on and do a four-year engineering science degree, you're going to have to do some calculus. Now, compared to doing the same stuff at a four-year college, this is going to be the same stuff that you're asked to do. That's why it transfers over so easily, right? It's because we're asking you to do the difficult stuff. One of the advantages we have, though, is it tends to be a little bit more approachable, especially in the introductory classes, due to we tend to have smaller class sizes than some of these large introductory class sizes at larger institutions. And our priority of our professors is definitely on the teaching side. Like I don't get paid to do research, I get paid to teach. And so my main focus is to focus on trying to teach a good class. And I always have time to help out students if they have questions related to class. So more direct access to professors is definitely an advantage that you would have as a QVCC student in trying to make it through these difficult courses. So you do some math, you do some science, and then you do some engineering. So we start with intro to engineering. It doesn't rely on calculus, so you can take it early on while you're trying to get your math up. And it covers a lot of different fields, teaches you some basics of analysis in those fields. It has a nice final project that has been a few different things, various projectile launchers or some robot sumo wars. Yep. Right there. Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Got him. So it's a really cool course. And then we have statics and dynamics, the applied mechanics sequence, most tailored for civil, mechanical folks, but works for a lot of other folks. And remember, because of the College of Technology, it's going to transfer and give you credit for those courses at any of the transfer partners, regardless of whether it's specific to your degree. So if you're trying to do something like electrical engineering, please contact me. We can sometimes arrange some things to make your life a little bit easier, but that's the basics of the engineering stuff. And then some technical electives, and those we key towards what you're specifically studying as best we can. One thing that everyone should take is a programming course because that will transfer on and ABIT accreditation at the four-year level requires that you complete an introductory programming course of some sort. And then we have general education. Take some writing, some social science stuff, some ethics, and that's the degree. So math, science, engineering, gen eds, and that's your engineering degree. Now there are some other fun things we do. So that was the degree stuff. We have some cool stuff that we do at QVCC. We've run this course a couple of times, guitar building. So this is based on STEM of guitar stuff from National Science Foundation funding um, to help teach people about STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, using an electric guitar. There's information about, for example, the where the frets, how the frets are spaced on a guitar that depends on math, right? There's math behind that, uh, how the electromagnetic pickups work, that depends on understanding electromagnetism, et cetera. So the, it's a project-based course where people will spend their time mostly making guitars, but also doing some quizzes and learning the math and science behind this, learning how to solder, learning what's going on behind that, etc. shaping the guitar, finishing, all that good stuff. And actually, I can show you some cool stuff here if we not take too much time, but I have, let's go to full screen. I have in the back there, there's a guitar that uh, I made as a sample guitar. I have another one over here that this, we actually swirl dipped this in the class. So we have a custom laser cut bean plate there, kind of matching the aesthetic. Don't look too closely at the solders. It, it, it works fine. Um, here we can. You can hear it works is, is the whole point of that, right? Thank you. 
All right. So that's a guitar. It works. Lovely. And it's a great way for students, if you have a spare technical elective and you want to do that, it's a great option. Uh, if you're interested in studying other stuff or you know somebody else who's at QVCC or considering it, you might tell them, hey, consider this because they might get into it and they might like some of the technical stuff and maybe pursue STEM stuff themselves. That's kind of our like get your foot in the door by having them do a cool project. And, you know, at the end of the course, like instead of buying a textbook, you buy a guitar kit or depending on your level of comfort with various things. We have had people who have milled out their own guitar bodies from blanks. But, you know, if you're not, we have different levels. So if anybody's interested in that, I've taught this course before. Um, it's, it's great. That's just one of, we have lots of great courses. We're just doing one example that I can show off some cool stuff for. And then we also have some great extracurriculars. So if you have interest in robotics, you don't have to be a STEM student. Again, this is open to any student. You don't have to be engineering. Uh, and you can participate in the robotics club, which I've been the advisor for, for the past, since it's existed. Um, I think since 2013. And this does a lot of cool stuff. It basically does what the students want to do. And we can get funding from student government to help pay for this. You pay student government fees as a student at QVCC. That means you have say in how those get spent. And so we have a club that can buy cool robotics gear for us to do cool robotics stuff. A cool thing that we've done recently is we've had teams that have competed in the NASA Connecticut Community College Quadcopter Challenge. So in Connecticut, there's a NASA Connecticut Space Grant Consortium. That's what this buddy down here is the logo for. And QVCC is a member of this consortium. What that means is that students are available to apply for various scholarships and grants for projects, for research, et cetera. So mostly some students will apply for scholarships. There's a transfer scholarship. If you transfer on to another member of the Space Grant Consortium within Connecticut and you started a community college, there's a scholarship that you can get for that. But then also, the students who competed in this, they were part of the robotics club, but they had to fill out an application and apply to compete in this competition. And then they did, and we've had teams that have done very well. And in fact, I can even show you a little clip from a video that one of the teams made as part of their participation in this competition. Hi, I'm Emily, a non-matriculated student here at QBCC and robotics club treasurer. Uh, we received the Elevate V3 quadcopter kit for the Connecticut Space Grant competition and Robotics Club together. We assembled the airframe, flight controller, power distribution board, and then installed the firmware and ground station software to make our drone. We're going to come up with design, design concepts that maybe some do work really well and some don't work really well. And we got to see a lot of um, trial and error and, and fix those um, errors and come up with a better design and so um, and applying that to engineering um, we can see that the process of going through um, the design concept and then going um, testing it out and seeing how it works and then going back to the drawing board. So here it is revised I, I, as I said um, I made it a little bit thicker here um, so it just it, it made it much more rugged. So so that's an exciting thing uh, I'm the campus director for the Space Grant Consortium as well. So if people have any questions about the opportunities that are available through that, I'm happy to share that. Uh, lots of great opportunities. Um, and I'll point out in the top left there, that's actually in flight. There's a little, if you can see it, a little bottle there that I forget if that was like a nail polish bottle or something, but they were doing sample retrieval as part of this competition and trying to pick up water. And so I think they were flying down. This is attached to this with some thin string that you can't see in this photo and trying to pick up water. So there are lots of cool things that we can do. We've also in the past taken trips to other states with national competitions. It really just depends on what students are interested in doing. So that's all of my advertising stuff. We'll close with just a little comment on course modalities. There are lots of different ways of taking courses. Depending on the course, it'll be offered different ways. Sometimes there's a variety of ways depending on uh, the courses. So for specifics about specific courses, check with 
me or advising or the courses that are currently offered for a specific year. We try to offer things in modalities that serve students. So that means like either in the classroom or hybrid or fully online or online, but live at the same time. So we have all of these different options available to us. And we try to choose ones that meet students where they are and also meet the material that we're teaching. And that's really what I have. If you have questions about specific stuff here, let's, uh, there we go. I'll put myself over there. Uh, here's a list of people to contact with various emails. Emails generally the easiest way, or you can schedule a virtual advising appointment. If you go to qvcc.edu slash advising, and you can talk to people that way. I am Jacob Spute. I mentioned that before, and this is my email, jspute at qvcc.edu. So thanks for paying attention and feel free to send me an email if you have any questions or reach out to advising and they can help you with a lot of stuff as well. Take care and I hope you find success wherever you're looking for it.